iOS 26.2 is finally released to the public. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 amazing new things, new features that you will find on your iOS 26.2 device that I think you should try out first on your new iOS update. It is actually really cool, a ton of cool new features, a ton of very useful features, and of course, very good performance and quite good battery life as well. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos, and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. Now, we're starting things off with the lock screen and the new liquid glass effect for the clock on your lock screen. It is actually really cool. I really hope that one day we will actually have that feature that will work system wide and not just for the clock. So let's just go to the edit page. So when you go to edit one of your wallpapers, you tap on the customize button right here and tap on the clock. And you can see now you will have a second slider right here at the bottom. This is the slider that allows you to adjust the liquid glass effect on the clock on your lock screen. Now, as you can see, if you just push it right on the right side right here, it doesn't have the liquid glass effect. But if you just slide it like this and you go all the way down here, it will add more of that liquid glass effect. So that way you can adjust your clock and of course the liquid glass effect to your preference. Next up, the next cool thing that you should try out on iOS 26.2 are the new animations. The animations on iOS 26.2 are really cool, very smooth, and of course, they look really awesome. So you can see if we just have the edit button right there, you can see that like pop up right there. It's actually really, really awesome. These are the animations that we saw at WWDC 2025, where Apple actually presented iOS 26 for the first time. It is really cool. They're super smooth, and they have this like effect that actually makes them look really amazing. The next thing you must try is the flash for your screen. So if you're someone that has used the flashlight for notifications, you know that pretty cool feature of iOS. Well, now you will have an extra option where you can now actually use the screen as well. So let's just head on to the settings here under accessibility. And right here, when we go under audio and visuals, we have flash for alerts. And then right here, you will have the option to choose the LED flash or use the screen of your device. But you can also use both of them at the same time. So the screen lights up and the flashlight lights up at the same time. So you can see right here, we'll have three different options. So if you have been using this feature and you would prefer to flash the screen, go ahead and now try it out from here. Now, if you're someone that uses the Measure app of iOS, then go ahead and try the new Measure app on iOS 26.2. So we have a totally new app with the new liquid glass effect. It is actually really cool. It has that nice liquid glass look. It's pretty awesome. And I think this is one of the like probably one of the most underrated apps of iOS. If you just want to measure something, go ahead and try it out. It's actually a really cool app and it works really, really well. Now with iOS 26, we have a new games app on iOS and it's actually quite good. And with this latest update, Apple has made it even better. So if you're someone that uses the games app of iOS, with iOS 18.2, you will with iOS 26.2, you will get some pretty cool features. So go ahead and try them out right here under the library section. You will have now all kinds of different filters for your games. So first of all, you can sort your games based on name, size, or the recently played games. And then you will have the filters here, which you can actually apply multiple filters at the same time. So in this case, I have chosen right here the racing category, but I also have chosen another filter which will only show me the racing games with controller support. It is actually super cool. You can go ahead and just use any of these filters you can see right here. In this case, I have three filters. So you will have things like on your iPhone, Apple Arcade, friends playing, games that your friends are playing, then you will have here the controller support, and then you can just filter them based on the games categories. 
Now with iOS 26.2, Apple has added some very useful features on the podcast app as well. And here's one that you should try. So while on the podcast, if you just tap this button right here, you can see you will have now chapters for that podcast. These are auto-generated chapters that iOS 26.2 will basically create for you, that way letting you navigate faster on a podcast, and of course it makes it much much easier for you to find the things that you actually want to listen to. And the cool new feature which a lot of people have been asking about alarms for reminders is here. You can try that out by going to the reminders app. When you go ahead and create a new reminder, you can now actually add the urgency right here. Simply enable it. Once you do that, it will enable a date and time as well because you will need to set a date and time for your reminder to have an alarm. And once you do that, your reminder will basically have an alarm which will show up on the lock screen of your device just like it would do like a normal alarm without the reminder at all so pretty cool you can actually go ahead and completely complete the reminder directly from the alarm which is super useful and if you use the news app of ios go ahead and try out the new features that are super cool very useful right here on the home screen you will have these like tags or whatever you want to call them you can simply tab there to go to any section you want, which is really awesome. And now right here, we'll also have a new following tab where you will have basically everything that you follow right here in one place. But again, the main thing here will be these like tags right there at the top that will let you just quickly jump to any section you need. And if you use the music app, actually, if you use Apple Music, which I don't, you can now go ahead and try offline lyrics for your songs and this will work only for songs that you have actually downloaded and saved offline for your device it is actually pretty cool of course it makes a lot of sense when you download a song to also have the lyrics that will work offline otherwise previously they would just work when you're connected to the internet but now of course even if you have an internet and you have a song downloaded you will still have the lyrics there and it doesn't need to use your data at all so that's pretty awesome now, right here on the music app you will also find the new album art for playlists created by users of course for the ones that use apple music this right here won't be this small but it will actually be on full screen which looks pretty nice and for users on EU, you can now try the new AirPods feature that allows you to have a live translation. Yes, iOS 26.2 finally enables live translation for AirPods in EU, which is really, really awesome. Actually, one of probably one of the most underrated features of iOS 26. It is super, super useful. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some of the new features that I think you should try first once you have updated your device to the new iOS 26.2. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys on the next one.